start. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to tonight's City Council meeting and Municipal Authority. It is March 16th at 7 p.m. We're in the Council Chambers here in the Centennial Building at 12 South 5th Street. Tonight our invocation will be provided by Councilman Wooten and will be followed by the flag salute. Would you please stand? Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for everything that you do. Lord, I thank you for all the blessings that shower upon this city. Lord, I just thank you for the, the men and women of the police department and fire department keeping us safe. Thank you for having such an amazing staff here at the city. Lord, we love you. We praise you. That's all this in your son's name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Can we have roll call, please? Selby? Here. Wooten? Here. Yonda? Here. Caccini? Here. Gilliland? Here. All right. We do have a presentation tonight, and I'm very, very honored to be a part of this. Will the Mitchell family please come up? Come on up. Autism has a, a place close to my heart. I have a grandson who has autism, and I work at a place where we do ABA. And so it's very, very close to my heart. So thank you for bringing this to us. Whereas autism affects an estimated 1 in 54 children and 1 in 45 adults and is a complex disorder that affects each person differently, resulting in unique strengths and challenges. And whereas autism can cause challenges with verbal, nonverbal communication, social interaction, repetitive behaviors, and can affect anyone regardless of age, race, ethnicity, gender, or socioeconomic background. And whereas autism is often accompanied by medical conditions that impact quality of life, and whereas a comprehensive collaborative approach will help to advance research, providing a better understanding of the many forms of autism, while strengthening advocacy efforts and ensuring access to services and resources throughout the lifespan, and whereas early diagnosis and intervention tailored to individual needs can have lifelong benefits, easing the transition to adulthood and fostering great independence. And whereas each person and family affected by autism should have access to the reliable information, supports, and opportunities to live up to their greatest potential. And whereas the city of Yukon is honored to take part in the annual observance of World Autism Month and World Autism Awareness Day to address the diverse needs of individuals and families affected. Now therefore, I, Shelley Selby, Mayor of Yukon, Oklahoma, do hereby proclaim April 21st as World Autism Month and April, 20, uh, April 2nd, 2021 as World Autism Awareness Day in Yukon to increase the understanding and the acceptance of people with autism spectrum disorder given under my hand and seal this day, the 16th of March. Thank you so much for making us aware. Can we get a picture? Thank you so much. And thank you, young man, for coming and helping us. I heard it. Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> All, right. All right. We will now recess as Yukon City Council and reconvene as the <coughs> municipal munis Yukon Municipal Authority. Madam Mayor, uh -huh. I have no request for visitors tonight. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just didn't see anybody I didn't know. So, thank you. <laughs> Um, recess as Yukon City Council and reconvene as Yukon Municipal Authority. Item 1A, YMA Consent Docket. This item is placed on the agenda so the Yukon Municipal Authority, by unanimous consent, can designate those routine items they wish to be approved by one motion. If an item does not meet with the approval of all authority members, that item will be heard in regular order. The City Manager recommends a motion to approve the minutes of the regular meeting of March 2nd, 2021, 
B, the payment of material claims in the amount of $20,151.12. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, let's vote. Yanda? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Caccini? Yes. Selby? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. Okay, we'll adjourn as YMA and reconvene as the Yukon City Council. Item one, consent docket. This item is placed on the agenda so the City Council, by unanimous consent, can designate those routine items they wish to be approved by one motion. If an item does not meet with the approval of all City Council members, that item will be heard in regular order. The City Manager recommends a motion that will approve the minutes of the regular meeting of March 2, 2021. Payment of material claims in the amount of $1,279,610.27. C, designating the items on the attached list from the technology department as surplus and authorizing their sale, donation, or trade. And D, setting the date for the next regular city council meeting for April 6, 2021, 7 p.m. in the council chambers of the Centennial Building, 12 South 5th Street. Do I have a motion? Motion to accept. Go ahead. Motion to accept. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, let's vote, please. Caccini? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. Selby? Yes. Yonda? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Do we have any report of boards, commission, or city officials? <coughs> None tonight, Madam Mayor. Thank you. <coughs> Item three, consider approving resolution 2021-02, a resolution canvassing the results of the special election conducted in the city of Yukon, Oklahoma, on the second day of March 2021 for the approval of ordinance number 1418 granting a franchise to One Gas Inc., acting by and through its Oklahoma Natural Gas Company division and its successors and assigned for the sale, transportation, and distribution of natural gas and accepting the results of such special election and declaring the measure as passed. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, let's vote, please. Gilliland? Yes. Selby? Yes. Yanda? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Caccini? Yes. Item number four. Consider approving the expenditure of funds in the amount of $46,212.10 to the Ford Auto Video System, LLC, for the upgrade to the audio video system at the Centennial Building, purchase off state contract number ITSW1021, to be paid from the 2020 2021 Technology Capital Improvement Budget as recommended by the Information Technology Director. Do I have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? Mayor, could you tell us a little bit about what the 46,000 will cover and what we'll be getting with that and what we need and all that stuff? The 46,000 will be uh, all new microphones, all new uh, cameras it'll be a new uh, camera control system new amplifiers new mixers uh, pretty much everything except the, um, the amps will be new How old so is our stuff currently? the stuff that we have here is um, it's either seven or go it's either seven going into eight or it's already eight years old and the cameras were here when I was hired in in 2008, 2008. Mm -hmm. so they are they they are beyond. <laughs> we 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 purchased replacements off of eBay till they were no longer available on eBay. Trying to keep it bandaided and going, and we're just at that point where one of these days something isn't going to work. Um, the mics, I think y'all will like the mics because they will have a large button on them where y'all can actually see the gr green ring or a red ring. You can control it on and off. It'll also have a light up by the. Uh, wind guard so you know if it's on or off and we can control um, those over there as well if you happen to be sitting there talking and forgot to turn it on we can turn it on very so good. it's a complete overhaul awesome very good thank right. you thank you anybody else All right let's vote please Selby yes Yonda yes Caccini yes Gilliland yes Wooten yes Item number five, consider approving two contracts with ARC ProTechnix Inc. to perform two fireworks shows on July 3rd and July 4th, 2021 
for Freedom Fest for a total cost of $39,900, exercising the 2021 option based on the 2020 fireworks bid as recommended by the city manager. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Okay, any discussion? Let's vote, please. Caccini? Yes. Yonda? Yes. Selby? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. Okay, item number six. We will consider a motion to recess as Yukon City Council and convene into executive <coughs> session for discussion of the purpose or appraisal of real property as provided for in 25 OS 2003, section 307B3. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Second. Any discussion? Let's vote, please. Selby? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Caccini? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. Yonda? Yes. All right, this time we'll uh, go to executive session. I'd like to have the city manager and uh, Roger to come with us, please. I know. I know. Thank you. All right. Item number seven. Consider a motion to adjourn from executive session and reconvene as Yukon City Council. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Let's vote. Yonda? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Caccini? Yes. Selby? Yes. I would uh, like, now like to read the minutes of the executive <coughs> session. While in executive session, only the items on the agenda were discussed and no action was taken and no votes were cast. All right, do we have any new business tonight? None tonight, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Let's start our council discussion. We'll start at this end tonight with Councilman Gillen. It is great to live and be a part of this city uh, for all kinds of reasons, but uh, well, there's too many to list tonight, so. I'll leave it at that. Okay, Councilman Caccini. Well, I'd like to just bring out a few points of the National League of Cities virtual meeting I, convention I went to by virtual through the computer. Uh, there was a couple of things that I wanted to pass on. Uh, they helped, some of the cities reported by helping some of the businesses on Main Street by suspending hospitality tax for a period of time and was calculated and everything and it helped the businesses. Another thing about water is antique faucets that a lot of folks are buying. They got to be checked out because they're saying there's some issues with them. So I thought I'd pass that information on. And believe it or not, uh, in some cities, the drone is delivering PPE. So that's something to look at. So I'm just throwing some of these points out to you and I'll give this to city manager and she'll be able to provide you all a copy. Thank you and thank you for attending that. Okay, Councilman Whitten. Um, I, I'd like to say it's a great day. We had eight new cases reported yesterday in our county, not just the city, the county. So that's awesome. I'm looking forward to when there's a uh, zero. Yes. Looking forward to um, for our map mm -hmm. to go away. So we'll look at that after spring that'd break. That'd be awesome. Thank you. That's all I got. Mm -hmm. Councilman, uh, Councilwoman Yonda. Well, I'm excited that we are easing into the new normal, but I encourage everyone to still be cautious um, and looking forward to better weather since the ice won <laughs> yes. on my ball. So. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. We are glad you were here and in one piece. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It was a good sacrifice. Uh, I'd like to have remind you that UConn Senior Games will be starting April 12th through the 16th. If you are 50 years or older, Rick, these are great for you. And uh, there are lots of things that you can uh, 
go into. Saturday, May 1st, Festival of the Child. Isn't it wonderful to be able to say we are having a city event? Absolutely. It's from 10 to 4 at the city park. We'll have over 50 areas of activities, including crafts, storytelling, kayaking, moon bounces, and performing arts. And then on Saturday, March 22nd, it's National Bike Month. Um, it's a community ride from the city hall to Jackie Cooper Gym for snacks and door prizes. It's outdoor fun for the entire family. It feels great to be able to say we're having city um, activities. I'd also like to thank our, Sarah, uh, our own Sarah at the library. Sarah and the librarians have been working with our seniors to get them signed up for the vaccine. She was even um, in the library journal. She was quoted. They interviewed her for that, and I'm very proud of her. Uh, I'd like to correct something that I said earlier in our study session. The Yukon Animal Shelter does not use the uh, newspapers. Pets and people, and they're still currently out at the old place. They haven't moved to their new. But if you have recycling newspapers, please take them to Pets and People where they can use them tremendously. Make the most of your tomorrow and be kind to one another. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you.